Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about the top strongest Pokemon in the whole game. The top 10 to be exact. So we're just going to go right off with Duraludon, Lapras, Noivern, Rhyperia, and Vanillux, who I sadly haven't caught. Those Pokemon were tying at base stats of 535, which is quite impressive, but the rest of the list is even better. The next few include Snorlax, who can Gigantamax, which can make it even stronger than it normally is, Milotic, Gyarados, the atrocious Pokemon, which has a tied stat with the three of those, with 540. The only thing is two of them. The only difference between Snorlax and the Gyarados and Milotic is that those two evolved from useless fish Pokemon. I think the Pokedex agrees with me here. Next we've got Togekiss, who I sadly haven't caught, with a base stat of 545, being a very strong fairy and flying, and evolves from Togepi, who I somehow do have. Arcanine, I really have to catch some of these Pokemon, has a base stat of 555, making it only 10 higher than the previous one, but it's still quite a good addition to your team, except I don't even have it on my team. Next we've got Silvalli, the synthetic Pokemon, who can turn pretty much every type and has base stats of 570, meaning that it's also rare and very strong and it looks like a mixture of legendaries, but I really don't know which ones they might be. Gudra, Mew, Hydreigon, the brutal Pokemon, Dragapult, and lastly, Kamoa. This is a very painful catch, as every time I've tried, I've either knocked it out too quickly, or it's knocked me out too quickly. So I really can't, couldn't decide how to catch it, but of course, I did finally catch it. I have finally got proof on my Pokedex, the scaly Pokemon which is quite a good name for it. Now here we've got Zacian in Hero of Many Battles form, and also Zamazenta, which their base stats is actually 670, and I forgot to do Kamoos. So Kamoo and the rest, including Mew, is 600. But these ones are 670, a dramatic turn up. Here we've got Eternatus, the gigantic Pokemon, which is pretty much the size of a Gigantamax Pikachu. You can see that Gigantamax Pikachu is only a tiny bit bigger than Eternatus. It has 690 base stats, and that's quite an expectation, mostly because it's a legendary Pokemon. Now we've got Zacian Crowned Sword and Zamazenta crowned shield which has a base stat of 720 the both of them both have this base stat making it a tie its height is pretty much three gigantamax pokemon stacked up on top of each other and its base stats are pretty much 1125 so once you catch this it would pretty much be rise to teach it a Turnum Beam, because it pretty much transforms it into a Turnamax, which makes it very strong. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my videos for more, as I will keep on giving useful information about new Pokemon and stuff like that. Bye for now.